hello all welcome to tech trapture myself Vishal Bulbule and in this session we are going to learn about what are the BigQuery external data source and what are the federated queries so uh, let's see first uh, external tables uh, so what are the external table we can create in BigQuery so whenever we create a external table in BigQuery so BigQuery only stores the metadata of this table but actual data it's not stored inside a BigQuery so we can create a uh, external table using the data source available in our Google Cloud Storage or a uh, Google Drive or uh, Amazon S3 bucket or we could say again uh, Azure Blob Storage. So we'll see uh, how we can create the external table. I'll just uh, go to Google Cloud Console and I'll open a BigQuery to create an external table. So I'll open a BigQuery first. Here I have my GCP June A project and inside I have this test data set. So I will be creating an external table in the test data set. So for this external table, I will be using a data source from my cloud storage uh, bucket. So I have a few files, uh, data files, uh, CSV files in my cloud storage bucket. I want to read that data from my BigQuery. Suppose uh, there are thousands of files or hundreds of files and I cannot go and check the content of each of the file or analyze this data. In that case, I can use this external data source in BigQuery. So I will open a cloud storage. Inside my cloud storage, I have this uh, source one bucket and I have these uh, CSV files. So I have these two CSV files, uh, it, these files contains uh, some data. So I will create my external table using this file from this storage bucket. So I will go to BigQuery and I will create a table. So I will click on a create table. And from here I will choose a Google Cloud Storage and I need to browse a uh, files so I'll go here and I'll uh, browse file so I'll just choose any one file and instead of this file I'll just give the file pattern okay so all the files which this patterns it will consider as my single table and here instead of native I will choose a external table and I am just giving the table name as my GCS underscore data and here you need to choose this auto detect so whatever the column name present in the CSV file it will take as a table column name okay and I'll click on a uh, create table so here you could see it's not created any job it just created the table and it give the option to go to table so we have this GCS table and if you see the schema these are the same as your files available in GCS bucket and if I go to details here you could see the table size is 0 byte because this BigQuery does not contain the data it only contain the metadata so what are the metadata so here it contains the external table source URL so this is our source data bad record so it's currently showing zero delimiter it is showing comma so these all we consider as a metadata now we'll see if i try to query this data how it looks like okay and this is a result of our data so same data we have in storage bucket but we cannot check the data by opening each and every file so using this uh, external table I can check the data of all the file at uh, once so if I go to job information let me run this again let so here uh, it is showing byte builds as a zero byte and the storage size also it won't show anything it just store the data in temporary table after every queries so result it is showing so that is a external table we created using 
the cloud storage bucket file so we can create external table from data sources so we'll see just see the what are the external data sources we can create external table from so we have uh, cloud storage and we also have s3 bucket and azure blob storage so now we'll see what are the federated queries so uh, what are the federated queries in federated query uh, we do not create any external table we just create an x we just create an connection to our external database so uh, this is a typical uh, definition we could see a federated query is a way to send query statement to an external database and get the result back as a temporary table so whenever we use a federated query it just use a bigquery connection api and it uses the external query function so mostly used uh, for a cloud spanner and cloud sql so in this demo we are going to uh, create federated queries on a cloud spanner so we have one cloud spanner database and we have created a table inside our cloud spanner database and we are going to query the tables in cloud spanner using a big query so first of all we'll create a connection and then we'll see how we can query the tables in cloud spanner using a big query so first let me go to a cloud spanner i'll just go to cloud spanner and see what are the database present in my spanner let me close this okay so here in my cloud spanner i have one instance spanner demo inside a spanner demo i have one database available called a uh, demo db and inside demo db i have one table called emp so i have created this table emp uh, let me check if data is available inside this table okay so here we can check the data so i will check the data if any data is available yes and here i could see there is a one row available inside my spanner database so we'll try to read this table uh, from a big query so i have created only one row and one table uh, for this demo so i'll just uh, go to a big query now i'll create a new tab and i'll open a big query and first of all i'll create an external connection from my big query okay so we can create an external connection from this add data button and here we can create click on a external data source here we have option we can connect to a connection cloud mysql postgresql amazon azure or a cloud spanner i will be choosing a cloud spanner for this demo connection id you can give anything i will just give federated demo fed demo and location i will just use as a us friendly name i am giving as a demo database name so this should be in this format you could see the format should be project then project name instance then my spanner instance name databases and my spanner a uh, database name so let me create this string so i already created so let me use this thing you could see i have given this as my project name then spanner demo is my spanner instance name and demo db is my database name i will create connection to my spanner database i will click on connection and you could see the connection is created go to connection <coughs> so whenever you create connection it will show inside your project here you could see the external connection one external connection is created okay and the name it has given as a fed demo which we have given the connection information it is showing the connection and id fed demo and all this metadata here it is showing connection type as a cloud spanner so let's see how we can query okay so let me just bring it here 
okay now here just check the format so it is using this function external query so in the de definition also here it mentioned you use the external query function to send query statement to the external database so uh, this is a query i'll just try to run so this is just a metadata query and it is given us uh, details that what are the tables present inside my cloud spanner so i am just writing our default query or custom query so i will just use a query select star from emp which is our a cloud spanner database select star from emp so if you check the syntax what it is doing so it is doing select star from query select star from external query means it is throwing query to the external data source what is a external data source the connection which we created with a fed demo and what is there in a fed demo we created connection to our cloud spanner demo db database and now if i try to run this query it will show me result okay let's see what is missed okay there was some spaces and let me run this query so this employee table is in cloud spanner database and we got the result now so using these federated queries uh, we have executed the queries on spanner databases using a big query so that's it of a federated queries and external table so let me know if you have any question i'll try to answer that thank you for watching the video